Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to check if a number is prime or not. So let's start by creating a new class. I'm using BlueJ, you can use any other editor. So let's start with new class and let's call it prime. Okay, and uh, we get this icon, right click, open editor and uh, maximize the screen and remove this code here. Okay, and we can remove this code also, we don't need this. Okay, and uh, change the return type of the method to void because we are not returning any value. And here, let's call the parameter as int n. n is a number which we want to check whether it is prime or not. As we know, what is a prime number? A prime number is a number which is only divisible by itself or by 1. So, for example, 2 is a prime number, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. These are some of the prime numbers. Now, if you see, 5 is not divisible by any other number except by 1 or by 5. Similarly, 11. Similarly, 13. And what are some of the non-prime numbers? Non-prime numbers are, for example, mm, uh, 4. 4 is a non-prime number because it is divisible by 2. 6 is a non-prime number. It is divisible by 2 and 3. So we have to check whether a number is prime or not. So in Java, how do we do that? If a number is prime, it will not have any other factors. And the factors of a number would always be less than the number. Okay, so for example, if I have to check whether uh, 5 is prime or not, then I check for divisibility by 2, 3 and 4. So if 5 is not divisible by any of these numbers, so it is a prime number. Again, if I have to check whether 7 is prime or not, so I have to check for divisibility, divisibility of 7 by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if you notice a pattern, what is happening here is we are starting from 2 and we continue till less than the number. See, we start from true and always continue till less than the number. So this is the condition which we are going to use. Now here, let's do this. Uh, we'll take a variable int i is equal to 2 because we are going to start. Every number is divisible by 1. So we do not check for divisibility by 1. So int i is equal to 2, comma, we take r for rem for remainder. Okay. And we take a boolean variable flag which is initially true. Okay, and uh, I'm going to use for loop for this. So for, uh, we can say i is equal to 2, i less than n. See, this is the condition, i less than n. The loop will continue till less than the number. If the number is 5, the loop will continue till 4. If the number is 7, the loop will continue till 6. Okay, and then here we write i plus plus. Okay, now we then open the curly braces of for. Okay, so we have initialized i here, so there's no need to initialize here. Now we will write rem is equal to n mod i. After that, we'll use if rem is equal to equal to zero. We want to change the value of flag to false. Okay. I'll be explaining this later. Close the file loop, while loop, uh, and outside the while loop, we'll check if remainder if flag if flag is equal to equal to true. Then we want to print that it is a prime number prime number else we'll print it is not a prime number else we print it is not a prime number okay so this is all that we need to write this is the code okay now let's understand this code now what is happening here is that here we start from 2 Let's suppose the value of n is 5. So we start from 2. So 2 mod 5. As you know, mod gives us the remainder of the division. So 2 mod 5. What do we get? What is the remainder? If we divide 2, if we divide 5 by 2, what is the remainder? 2 2 is a 4. Remainder is 1. So the first step, 5 mod 2 should give me 2 2 is a 4. The remainder would be 1. So this condition becomes false. Remainder is not 0. So this statement will not be executed. Now in the next iteration, i becomes 3. So now it will do 5 mod 3. So what is the remainder here? 3 uh, divided by 5, the remainder is 2. So again, this condition is not true. So the flag, the value of flag will not change. Now i becomes what? i becomes 4. Okay, so now 5 mod 4. What is the remainder? Remainder would be 5 divided by 4. The remainder is 1. So again, this condition, remainder is not 0. So this is not executed. Now, after that, 
the value of uh, i becomes 5 so the condition is false i is not less than 5 now so it comes out of the loop so when it comes out of the loop what is the value of flag so value of flag is the original value which is true it never changed so we know that it is a prime number okay now let's check in for uh, for non prime let's take an example of a non prime number now let's suppose the n the value of n is let's suppose the value of n is uh, here 9 okay now if the value of n is 9 again we start the loop will the loop will continue from 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 till this okay so if 9 is not divisible by any of these numbers then it is a prime otherwise it is a not a prime number so now here we start from 2 so we do we what do we get here uh, 9 mod 2 so is the remainder 0 no the remainder is not 0 2 4 is 8 the remainder is 1 so this condition is not this if is not executed now the value of uh, i becomes 3 now when i becomes 3 again we do 9 mod 3 so we do 9 mod 3 so when you divide by 3 when you divide 9 by 3 what is the remainder the remainder is 0 now so if remainder is 0 so this condition is true so it changes the value of flag which becomes false okay so after changing the value of flag which becomes false we know now that th this is not a prime number so there's no need to continue the loop so if the value of if it enters this if here we can give a break we do not need to continue the loop the moment flag becomes false so now we know it is not a prime number so there's no need to continue the loop so the, this break will bring us out of the for loop to this statement here okay this the moment a flag becomes false as in this case where 9 mod 3 gives me 0 so when 9 mod 3 gives me 0 the remainder is 0 the flag becomes false it breaks out of the loop okay so this break statement will bring you to here now is the value of flag true no we changed it it became false so it will go into the else and it will print that it is a it is we should print it is not prime okay and we have here let's correct this and uh, let's delete this code now and save the program compile it no syntax errors you should be getting this message minimize it now right click new prime ok and right click again now let's enter 5 so say ok so you see it is a prime number now let's run it again and uh, this time let me enter 9 ok so 9 is not a prime number let's try for another number let's enter 13 so 13 is a prime number ok so you see 13 is a prime number so this is how we can check whether the number is prime or not so if you like this video please click on the share like button and subscri subscribe to the channel estudy.in thank you